Hi, welcome to Food Freakers Kitchen. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make this perfect cheesecake without the conventional black cheese, which most recipe calls for. If you live in areas where you have just a spreadable cream cheese, then this recipe is for you. It's just so perfect. The texture and flavor is everything you want in your cheesecake. You just have to try, taste and see for yourselves that God is good. The full list of the ingredients can be found in the description box below. So to begin, I greased my spring foam dish. Here I have 250 grams of cookies. You may find some recommended options in the description box. So I place the cookies into a Ziploc bag and crush them into thin crumbs like this. And to that I added about 2 teaspoons of um, lemon zest. 2 tablespoons of white granulated sugar and then I combined after which I have added 80 grams of melted butter combined that properly when done transfer into the baking dish spread and level it down like this after which I baked it in a preheated oven of 175 degrees Celsius for about 8 minutes cook Okay, so when ready, take it out and let it cool down completely. Now to prepare for the water bath, I overlapped four sheets of foil paper and tightly wrap the foil around the outside of the pan. And when done with that, preheat oven to 230 degrees Celsius. For the filling, in a large mixing bowl, I added 600 grams of cream cheese and 300 grams of mascarpone cheese. Using a hand mixer on a low-medium speed, I mix just until it's smooth. You don't want to overmix this. Next, I sieved in 2 tablespoons of corn flour and mixed on a low speed until just combined. Next, I added 150 grams of sour cream, 220 grams of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then mix on low speed until just combined. Finally, I added four whole eggs, mixing in one at a time. Using a hand whisk, I stirred gently to remove the SX bubbles. After which, I placed the baking dish into an oven pan and poured the batter into the pre-baked crust. Next, carefully, I poured boiling water into the oven pan until the water is about halfway up the sides of the cheesecake pan. Now, place into the oven and bake for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, without opening the oven, reduce the oven temperature to 100 degrees Celsius and bake for 1 hour. Puffy edges and slightly wobbly center says, cheesecake is ready. So do not panic when you see it wobble like this, it's normal. It will set properly when cooled. Just slightly touch the center and if it doesn't stick, then you know that your cake is ready. Okay, usually I will take it out of the water and put it back in the oven to cool there. When cooled, cover it with a film wrap and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. At this point, the cheesecake is set. So using a warm spatula, I gently scraped around the pan to help release the cake. So here you have it, ready to be served depending on how you like it. For me, I like my cheesecake with some fruit sauce, so here I whipped up some cream for garnishing and topped with some homemade blueberry sauce.
and if you want a stable sauce that doesn't sink in when cutting you might want to add one gram of agar agar into the sauce while hot and finely blend it then spread it on the cake and decorate as you want to get in a smooth cut it's advisable to dip your knife into hot water wipe off with paper towel before cutting i hope you give this recipe a try it's worth it it's easy and delicious. Bon appétit and thanks for watching.